Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm excited to tell you all about the 2017 Cricket by Taxa Outdoors. So Taxa Outdoors has a full lineup of lightweight travel trailers. We went over the smallest one here, the Wooly Bear, which is an excellent traveler, perfect for toting all your gear with an optional tent up top. Next up, you have the Tiger Moth, which is their medium sized unit. It's perfect, again, to be nice and lightweight and gives you walls you can sleep inside, protect you from bears, a little bit from the elements as well. Now we have in the Cricket. This is the largest of the line in the Taxa Outdoors lineup, and boy, do we love it. It may look small right now, but this one does pop up. I'll show you that when we go inside. It's really cool. I'm six foot and I can fully stand up in the front of it. It's pretty darn neat. Right up front here, this one comes with propane. The other two did not. The reason for it is this has the Truma system. That is an option. You don't have to have it. We did option it on this one. Uh, just about any option you can get on the Cricut we have in there. There's a couple we didn't, but for the most part, this one is loaded. So you have two 20 pound propane tanks here with the cover. Right on the front, this is pretty neat. Uh, they put in a bottle opener. You know, it's just sometimes it's the little touches. I really like that. You can see it actually spells taxa here. It's half of it, they cut it out, but nice to have that little bottle opener right there. Again, this part right here is part of how you open it up, but as I mentioned, we'll get to that a little bit later. Also right up front, you have an outside shower. You see you have hot and cold access there. So that way, if you need some quick water access, you have it right up front, nice and easy to get to. Take a look at that nice sturdy front end. I love that they have that there. Excellent rock guard. So if you do throw up, you know, rocks and stuff from your tow vehicle, it'll hit this guard and, and not uh, beat up your beautiful aluminum side here. Speaking of the aluminum, the thing I love about this is it is Kynar painted aluminum. So the great thing about Kynar is it has excellent UV resistance, so you won't have fading here. It also is protected from salt. So if you are taking this down salty roads, it's not going to get beat up and rust out on you. Uh, of course, it's aluminum as well, so you wouldn't have to worry about that much anyway. But it definitely will stay looking great uh, for a really long time. Your main entrance is right here. You'll see you have the nice poly window on there. That does open up. The shade inside, you can close off or lift it up to have a screen there. The door itself opens up just like so. It actually clicks in the back. If you can see that right there, just clicks right into place. When you look inside, it's very similar to the other taxi units. You see uh, a lot of you know structurally well-built unit here. Uh, you have the aluminum attachment points. You can see these. You know, right up in the top here, you can see them in the side. You have them all throughout here. They're perfect for bungee straps, or you can order nets. You know, Amazon sells them for relatively inexpensive, and you can attach them all over. It gives you a lot of great extra storage. Right up here is your kitchen. Again, we'll see that more when we go inside. Nice big bed there. But let's finish the outside here, and then we'll tackle more of that. So the tires, nice big tires. These are off-roading tires on here. Again, we expect you to take this you know, to, to places where you're probably not gonna have full hookup. You may have to go down two tracks, things like that. And you get amazing clearance on there too. Uh, you have one foot clearance, 12 inches there to make sure you can go over that bumpy terrain. Uh, beautiful um, uh, aluminum alloy rims on there. And if you take a look behind, you will see it is a torsion axle. So excellent suspension system on the Cricut here as well. And we talked about some of the you know, smaller things when it comes to attention to detail. Take a look at this. All throughout the Cricut, they have actually cut this into the aluminum, the little Cricut there. It's just kind of cool. I really like they did that. Right in the side here, they have some really interesting lines. Uh, it almost looks like it's dented right here, but that's not the case. It's 100% intentional. You can kind of see where the lines all meet up right here. Again, just a, a really cool looking exterior. It definitely helps uh, with the structural integrity of the unit as well. Right up here, again, the nice poly window. And same thing, this one can open up for more cross ventilation. So we take a look down a little bit further, you'll see right here you have a 12 volt outlet. So if you need to plug anything in outside, you have that available. And take a look at this. These are great side steps, extremely strong. I mean, I'll get up here 
you can see me hop on here. You don't have to worry about these at all. You know, I weigh 200 pounds and again, you can uh, get up there, feel very safe with it. And you know, and as I mentioned, again, they put a little cricket in there. It's just kind of cool. I like they did that. Uh, also, you'll notice all these different points you have here. So if you need to attach anything to the step itself, you can do that too. Then if you take a look underneath, you may have noticed the tanks there. Uh, this unit does have a 15 gallon fresh water tank as well as a 15 gallon gray tank. Lights on the outside here, so you know if you need some light at night, you have access to that. Rear hatch door, we'll open this guy up for you so you can take a look. Same style of window right there on the back. Take a look at that, you know, kind of like we had in the Tiger Moth. This thing really opens up, you get awesome ventilation here, allows you to get nice and uh, close to nature. You see the attachment points right here. Again, attachment points all throughout. So if you need to hang things like hang a lantern or something off here, you can do that too. If we take a look underneath, you see this spare tire. Now hopefully you never have to use that, but in the event that you do, it is really easy to access. Great storage in the back, you can see that. So you just pop that door open, you can get to that. Or even easier, watch this. So this is your bed here. This is you know, be the main spot you sit. But take a look, this folds up super nice and easy, uh, giving you access to all this storage inside. You'll see these little bungees, you can just strap them right up there, they'll uh, hang out there. Uh, a couple things back here I wanna talk about too, because we, again, we did option some other things in. Uh, so this is a, um, an actual little outside canopy. So this is really cool, we can set this up, give you some more space outside. And then this is for a shower. It's an outside shower structure. You can set that up. That way, you know, you can actually shower outdoors here. Coming around to the side of the unit, another large step right over here. This will fill your fresh water tank. And then you will see this one is prepped for solar. So if you want solar, all you have to do is buy the ZAMP uh, portable panels, plug them in, and you are good to go. Right up top there, you see the Thule rack system. You know, this works uh, just like uh, with, in conjunction with any of the Thule accessories, just like you would have on your vehicle. A lot of SUVs uh, utilize the Thule rack system. Those same attachments will work on here too. Another thing we optioned in is this guy. This is your side mounted AC. Uh, you know, on those really hot days, if you need AC, you have the capability to run it here. Also, if we take a look over to the side, you will see this one. This is your Truma hot water system. I love the Truma system, it's great. Not only does it work as your uh, water heater, but this is also what runs your furnace. And this is run off of your propane, so kind of a two in one. And then you do have your 30 amp detachable power cord. That way you're able to run the AC. If you take a quick look underneath here, you notice there is your dump valve. So nice and easy to use. Again, you have to dump a gray. Uh, it's not big like you see on a lot of uh, RVs because that's built so you can dump out solids. Seeing as how this is only a gray tank, the little one inch there is really all you need. So as I had mentioned previously, one of the coolest things about the Cricut is the fact that the ceiling here does raise up. When it's down like it is right now, the overall height outside is six foot nine, which allows for easy travel and also lets you park it in tighter places like inside your garage. However, when we pop this up, it gives us an impressive six foot four height right here in the front. It's just a couple simple steps and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Step one, right inside here on either side, you have these levers. Where this little red one is, you're going to push that in with your thumb, which will release it, and then you will lift it up on either side like so. Then you just remove the hook from the D-ring and repeat on the other side. The next step is right outside here on the front. You see they have this nice built-in handle. What you're gonna do is slightly pull down on that because this pin will have a little bit of pressure on there. So first we remove the pin, then we reach in here uh, you're going to push this aluminum part forward toward the camper. There's a spring-loaded catch right here that you have to push up, which will then allow you to pull this aluminum part back. Once that is released, you simply just let it rise up like so. For the last finishing step, we're going to head on inside. So once we're inside, you'll see this is bent a little bit right here. What you're gonna to wanna to do is slowly push this bottom one here and you will see the top rise the rest of the way. 
You might hear uh, kind of what sounds like a little bit of tearing, but all that is is the Velcro on the outside where it attaches. So after you're done popping it up, you'll want to go through and just push all the Velcro, make sure that it didn't come off anywhere. That way your screen is firmly attached. But you'll see this is locked into place. And again, I'm six foot. Look how much headroom I have here. It is phenomenal. It allows you to easily cook right here at your kitchen. Now that the tent is up, if you want a little bit of breeze uh, running through here, but you don't want to keep your doors open, they do have windows all the way around. These are nice and easy to operate. Just undo the zipper on either side, remove the Velcro from the top, then you'll roll it up nice and quickly. Once it is rolled up, you'll see you have an attachment right here. Take the plastic piece, shove it through, and it holds it there. For additional airflow, you'll also see there are a couple windows. You have one on the side here, one in the rear door as well. These are also quite easy to operate. You have the four levers, just undo all four of those. Then you can push the window out. You'll hear it click. That's when it locks into place. As Soon as that happens, you can pull the screen up and there you go. That's all there is to it. When we were outside, I showed you the excellent storage underneath the bed itself here. Uh, but let's talk a little bit about the bed. So you'll see it does have a premium vinyl all the way across it. And it is a large bed as well. Uh, it's what they call a V birth bed. So you can see it kind of has a general V shape to it. But it is just short of a queen size bed. Uh, queen, your normal residential queen is 60 by 80. This will be 57 inches wide and 75 inches long. So again, just shy there, making it a very large bed for the camper. This part right here, this table, now you can leave this if you want, you know, have a person sleep on either side, or you can drop this table down. You'll just remove this leg. There's a second table leg that comes with it. That's a little bit shorter. You will then take this piece, set it right on top here, and that will complete your queen size bed. As I had previously mentioned, there is a ton of storage underneath this bed. I showed you the access from the rear, but you also have access to the storage from the front. Uh, the two front panels here of the bed do lift up like so. The one over here is your battery, so if you need to get at your battery, that is exactly where that will be. Right in front of that, you will see here you also have a USB port, as well as your 12 volt and a battery meter right in between. The other side, this part pops up, you have a nice little leg here, this will fold down, and you have access to storage here. You also have access to the storage underneath the other side a little bit, so uh, good access to all the storage underneath the bed. Right down here, you have a nice big cooler. This is really neat. It is removable, so if you want to take it outside, you can do that too. Uh, in order to power it, you have a couple different options. You can either run it off 12 volt or 120. You'll see both the cables are right down there, but good size, you know, again, especially for something you're going to, uh, you know, take out in the wilderness. I love the fact that you have the option of having a 12 volt cooler here. Also for plugins, you do have a 12 volt connection right back here. You can see that one. Uh, also, you have your standard plug right here, so you can plug that into there. You see the AC is also right here in the wall, and again, this one does have to plug into the 120, but remember, you'll either have to have a generator or be plugged into shore power to be able to use it. If you take a look at the front, you have this beautiful kitchen and great standing height in here. Uh, excellent prep space too, especially for being, you know, again, a smaller camper, and they, get, they cover up both your cooktop and your sink, allowing you to use that as prep space as well. When we lift this up, you see you have the two burner cooktop right there. It is recessed, same thing with your sink here. The faucet you can just lift up and control uh, however you desire. If you take a quick look underneath, so I had showed you the 120 outlet there. You have another one here, fuse panel over here to the side. Right in the center, you have a, a bunch of fuses here and some controls. This controls the majority of your lights. You'll also see that you have your water pump there. And then right over here is the Truma system. As I had mentioned earlier, this is both your water heater as well as your furnace. Right next to that, once again, you have a 12 volt and then a U, uh, dual USB port right underneath. Good storage up here too. You can see you have lots of cutouts. Uh, the wood they use here is a uh, birch plywood. Really nice stuff, you know, high end, high quality. Right down here uh, is that Truma system. You can see where it is vented out in order to have that heat. Another cool feature, uh, right over here, you will see they actually have installed a little uh, paper towel holder right there for you. You know, again, sometimes it's just the little things that uh, really show you the quality of a unit. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2017 Cricut by Taxa Outdoors. 
If you're interested in this RV, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.